Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts and return to sender. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, um, verse 45, if, if you remember, in chapter 17, Goliath comes to town. And uh, as far as we know, Goliath had never fought any Israelite. He had never fought any Israelite. But Goliath began to talk and says that, he said, listen, he said, am I not a Philistine? And then he made a statement, are you not servants of Saul? And then he said, listen, choose her for a man who come and fight with me. And if I win, you, you are going to be losers. And if he wins, we are going to be the losers. And the Bible says for days on end, he kept taunting the armies of Israel. And the way he was talking, he got the whole of Israel paralyzed in fear. All the armies were paralyzed and the king, Saul himself, was gripped by fear and was hiding behind the throne and he couldn't do anything. And guess what? I mean, all that Goliath did was talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And you know, I mean, Goliath overrode the armies of Israel, not because he had fought any of them, but because of talk. All he did was talk. And so far as he kept talking and the whole of Israel kept quiet, nothing happened. And this was what he was doing on a daily basis. And then he kept talking and the whole nation of Israel, the whole army of Israel, gripped with fear, immobilized by fear. They couldn't do anything. And all they had to do is look on uh, what he was doing and, 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 and in great despondency. And the Bible says the king was hiding. Now, this particular battle, I mean, it was a very, very interesting one. We'll come to that later. But you know what? The Bible said all he did was talk, 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 talk. Then now comes a young lad, a stripling lad, or a strapling lad, or whatever you would call it. You get it? And this young man just came, and the Bible said when he when he he, he came to town, you know, he heard what Goliath was saying, and he also started talking. He was talking back. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? His name was David. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine who dare defies the army of the living God? And he kept talking. He kept talking. Goliath talked. David also talked. He sent it back. He talked back. And the way he kept talking, he, he, the Bible said he kept talking and the things he was saying, his brothers were asking him to shut up, but he kept talking. And then the king, the king had it. Saul said, he said, I will fight with this guy. I will fight with this guy. See, he has not threatened you or threatened I, but he's dealing with the army of the living God. He's dealing with God himself. So David spoke back. And you know something? When David was approaching Goliath, and Goliath talked to try and intimidate David. David also began to talk. He said, today you will know that there is a God in Israel. I will cut off your head. I will get it. And the way David began to talk and he was approaching, you, are you aware that Goliath changed his testimony? Goliath changed his voice. When he started, he said, are you not, am I not a Philistine? And are you not, are you not a servant of Saul? But this time when David came and started talking back, talking back, Goliath's definition of himself changed. He said, am I a dog? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Are you aware that sometimes it is people will talk us out of our faith? People will talk us out of our, of our belief in God? People will talk us out of our destiny? And all they'll do is, is spear our faith with their, with, their, with their negatives and spear our faith and spear who God is saying we are and, and kill the dreams that we have by talk, by talk, by talk. Sometimes you need to also rise up and talk back and say it. They may call you proud. They may call you boastful. They may call you arrogant. Talk back. When they talk, talk back. Don't keep quiet. Because sometimes what men say, you see, that the, the Goliath created an atmosphere through the whole of Israel with his talk. And David came and changed the atmosphere. We'll come to that later. He talked back. 
So sometimes you don't have to keep quiet. You need to also make your faith confessions. In the midst of this thing, you guys say, Yea, that I walk through the yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he's with me. His rod and staff, he will comfort me. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You can also talk by saying, No weapon that is fashioned against me has been aligned or designed or allowed or permitted to prosper. And say, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against God and the counsel of God. You, you understand? You need to sometimes talk back because words are powerful. Don't allow the other people's words of fear to trap you in unbelief and faithlessness. Don't allow other people's words of doubt. Sometimes you need to talk back. You don't need to keep quiet and listen to them. Because when you keep quiet, then you imbibe it into your spirit and then you go away depressed. You go away sad. You go away in despondency. You need to, you go, you go away discouraged. You need to talk back. Talk faith. Talk faith. Because if you keep quiet, the words they speak will become seeds that will generate fear. And that will, that will capture you in a prison of doubt and unbelief. So sometimes you need to talk back. You need to talk back. Return it to sender. And let the sender know that the place where they send their parcel of faithlessness and doubt and fear, that address is not your address. Return to sender. Address unknown. You need to sometimes talk back. And it's very, very imperative that you don't keep quiet. You got a mouth to talk back. See you later.